The Ruxin Mystery Packs are back. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery pack opening. We have more Ruxin Mega Mystery Pack 2.0s and there are some slight changes to the second wave of Mega Pack 2.0. But before we actually talk about it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. We're opening three Ruxin Mystery Packs with an example from both the red, silver, and purple version. So we're going to get to see all those. The gold contains a bonus card. It's one in a hundred. So we're not going to show that because we don't need to pull the bonus card. We need you guys to pull the bonus card. So these will be available right now. I'll have the link down below. It's an affiliate link. Go check out Sassiato. He'll be the one shipping them out. They did all like the packaging and everything like that. And there's been a few changes that we'll talk about as we go through the packs. But I wanted to show you guys just an example of what you can get. So the first one we have, this is an example of a purple pack. So inside you can get, you get six modern era packs and then you get one of the bonuses. So uh, these are some examples. The packaging, I will say, we're, we're changing up the packaging for 3.0, but Cyber is no longer in here because we're just like, eh, it wasn't that good. It was in the wrong spot, it was purple. Don't really want Cyber anyway. No code of the duelist, we took those out because they're not great. So we left all the good stuff in, took out the worst stuff. We also added some 25th anniversary. I don't know if they're in every pack, but they, they will be scattered throughout. So 25th anniversary will be super fun. I'm, I know you guys wanted to see that in the next packs. So there you go. So let's just go to it. There's a few other things. I think that like rarity collection has potential in here, but because it's such a new pack and we'd already made these packages, they're only bonus packs. So first of all, we have our purple pack. Okay, we'll throw that to the back. That can be one of mini packs. Let's see what we get in terms of our packs inside. So don't forget, if you do wanna get some of these, check out the link down below. You can grab some, there's a limited amount. Once they sell out, 2.0 is done forever. We'll be going to 3.0 at some point next year, probably several months. A lot of you guys have been asking for, for mystery packs, so they're back for a little bit. If you like them, buy them. If you don't like them, you're not a mystery pack guy, don't buy them. I do not encourage you to buy these unless you're a mystery pack person and you expect to potentially lose money probably most of the time. We do our best to have some good value in the packs that you pull, but this is what, it's a mystery pack. Most of the time, you're not gonna make your money back. Okay, so we have, uh, we're just gonna go one at a time, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. So, okay, we, we got a little spoiler back there, but we're gonna do 2022, 10 of the Pharaoh Gods first. Let's see if we can get that pot of prosperity, even though it did get seven reprints recently. Let's see if we can pull something. Arm Dragon Thunder, we have Meow's Click. We have a Link Apple, we have Sacred Tree Beast. Remember, this is the giveaway, so all these cards can be yours. And speaking of, go check the community tab. There's a lot of winners have been announced, so go check that out, see if you want anything. Ghost Mortar, we have Flounderese. We have Scrap Raptor, Ultra Rare, Sprite's Blessing. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, okay, not bad. And then we got some more commons. So, okay, start, not anything crazy. 2022 was way better before Rarity Collection because it had Pot of Prosperity. Now it's probably a lot like less valuable thanks to the reprints. Okay, our next pack, I'm gonna keep these behind my face cam so you can't be spoiled. Legend of Blue Eyes 25th Anniversary. I think he said that there is one per pack, at least a 25th, not necessarily LOB though. Also, the 100 card chase, I forgot to mention, the big card that you're searching for is an Ultimate Rare Cyber Dragon, which funnily enough was one we pulled on the channel in a box break, and supposedly, according to Sassiato, that guy who pulled it sold it to him, and now it's in the mystery pack. So you could potentially win a pack pulled Ultimate Rare Cyber Dragon. So I was surprised the guy didn't grade it. I don't remember if it was off-centered or something. So who knows? Maybe it's a PSA 10 gradable one. You'll have to go back and see the Cyber Dragons we pulled if it is or not. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's the goal. That's one in a hundred. So unlikely you get it, but if you do, you're you're hitting big because these these packs cost like 120th of the cost of that card. So yeah, if you hit that, you're doing really well. And then you have all your packs as well. We have Fire Grass, we have Dragon Treasure, One Eye Shield Dragon, Dissolve Rock, Sparks, Beast Fangs, Tyone, Dragon Capture Jar, and Sogan, okay, nothing there, that's okay, it's okay. Next, we got Legendary Duelist, first edition, I will I will add, that's not bad. Magical Hero, because this Magical Hero is actually a good Legendary Duelist. It has had a lot of reprints on the set, but there are still like 20-ish dollar cards in here that you can get. Time Gazer, Magician, and obviously Magician Souls is a great one. Um, number F0, Doppel Warrior, let's see if we can get something. Automata pickup, okay, nothing in that one. That's one of the better Legendary Duelists, but nowadays Legendary Duelist has been pretty bad recently. Okay, we have a Photon Hypernova first edition. Let's see if we can get a Starlight Rare. Photon Hypernova was pretty good at time of release. I don't remember, I'm guessing a lot of these cards haven't been reprinted just yet, so it's probably still pretty solid. Gishki Necromere, because it's earlier this year, they usually wait till like next year or something, or at least it was an early set, so maybe some of them. Let's see if I recognize. Cash Tira. I feel like they haven't really reprinted those yet. Plunder Patrol Ship Jord. Okay, so yeah, unlucky on that one. We did not pull anything, unfortunately. But we do have a Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge pack. So five card pack, potential at 
What's in here again? Monstrous Revenge. 25 quarter century rares, right? That's our that's what we can get. We have Noah Punk Zeman. We have Ultra Rare. Nightmare Corruptor Eblay. Pretty good card. That's where it would have been, I think. Lamia and Photon Vanisher. So, okay. We haven't pulled anything huge yet, but that's the nature of it, unfortunately. Burst of Destiny's up next. Has been hit hard by reprints, but Stratos. Still have not pulled one yet. Starlight. That would be epic. One, two, three, four. No Ultra Rux and Special. We have Starry Knight Orbital. Penguin Knight. Or Penguin Ninja. Sorry, I'm just used to Penguin Knight. Penguin Ninja. Fangly, the... Why does that look like a pineapple? Soldier Palm. Is that like... A, it, it's like a pineapple... I was about to say Pokemon. It's like a pineapple. Ice Jade. Gung and Sue Ship. Break the Destiny. Heritage of the Light. Flip the Frozen. And... Flunderies and Eglin. No. No more Flunderies, please. Just make it stop, please. Okay, so now here's our purple pack. This is the guarantee. You're going to get a purple at minimum. I mean, I guess if you get a red, you won't get a purple or you get a silver, but those are better. So this is the worst one you'll get. Let's see what it will be. Previously in the other, well, this is the same one. So it should be Battles Legend Armageddon, Toon Chaos is your big chases here. Let's see. Oh, Chaos Impact. Okay, that's not, IP Mascarena. I was thinking this was uh, Code the Duelist for a second. I was like, uh, okay, yeah. Chaos Impact, IP Mascarena or Bust, but Starlight Rare IP Mascarena. I haven't actually checked the price since the 25th came out. Still probably pretty expensive. It used to be a $1,500 Starlight. We have a Dances with Beasts. Uh, Prometeer, we have Desert Locust. I have pulled two Mascarena before in the same case. So let's just pull one for you guys. Cauldron of the Old Man, classic retrain. Marin says, you call it a retrain What's a spell? I don't know if you call it that. Watt, Watt Train, speaking of, we have Gladiator Beast Comeback. And then there's the Super. Okay, so no IP Mascarena, unfortunately, but pretty sweet pack. All right, that first one, we didn't really pull anything crazy, but that, you know, it's mystery packs, so they are mine. So, I, you know, I'm part of it. We're hoping that you can pull something good, but keep in mind, it's about the pack value that you're kind of basing it on, not the cards you pull, because it's so hard. You guys have seen my videos. It's so hard to pull good cards out of just any packs in general, much less when you're, they're in mystery packs. So here we go. We got to do it the same way. So this is silver. So it's we were sent a silver, a red, and a purple for you guys, just so you see the potential. But silver are one in five. So one every five on average. Keep in mind, it's an average. You will get a silver. One every 10 on average, you should get a red, which is the older packs. And there's still some cool stuff in silver as well. So all right, I'm going to pull these out. I'm not going to spoil them over here. I don't want you guys to see. I want you guys to... Get them one at a time. So there are some some newer packs included here in the modern packs. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can get uh, those redemption booster boxes, which never expire, by the way. You can always redeem one for a new booster box. So it, it won't be like now's new bo booster box. It'll be whenever you redeem it. So if in 2027, you try to redeem with Sassy, it'll be that current booster box, not to 2023s, because you can't just hold it and let it, you know, oh, wow, that box is now worth like a million dollars. You can't you can't do that because that would just would be crazy for him in like 2035 when people are trying to redeem these. And I want to mention we didn't do the dueling redemptions this time because only like three people redeemed them out of the 25 we sent out. People didn't really care about those. And we didn't do the uh, guess that price thing because no one ever came forward with that one. So it's either sealed still or someone didn't want to do it and they didn't mention it. So I figured why would we do those again? Nobody really cared about them. First pack and the silver pack, 25th anniversary 10 dueling heroes. These were, what, what, what could we get out of here? These were kind of average 25th anniversary. Uh, Cucumber horse, that's a big one. Now there we go. Breath and resurrection. We have Scareclaw Slash. We have Mary Melfi's Gibrine. We have No Rue, Dragonic Pendulum, Zalamander Catalyzer, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon, Blazing Artesia, The Virtuous. So you get two, yeah, you get two uh, the Prismatic Secrets. I forgot about that. And then you get a bunch of commons. There's a Draco back. So that's an okay pack. You know, it's mega pack. So you get a lot of cards, which is nice. And it does look like you're going to get a Metal Raiders pack or a uh, 25th anniversary pack. Metal Raiders here, but 25th anniversary pack because so far we're two for two. So this is fun. Everybody likes getting old school packs. You know, 25th anniversary. Everybody loved opening that stuff up. Ryukishin Power. Let's see if we can pull a Gate Guardian. Jellyfish. Lego. Genzo number seven. Mystic Lamp. Blue Wing Crown. Empress Judge. Milus Radiant and Bottom Dweller. Man, we're getting kind of waxed right now. This is pretty rough. Next up, we have Synchro Storm. So this is definitely the worst pack we've seen so far in the mystery packs. Synchro Storm does have a Ghost Trip potential, does have Baron, but with the seven reprints, I'm guessing the Ultra Baron is pretty cheap now, unfortunately, because this used to be a $100 card that to pull out this pack. So just that card made it worth it. We have Lyralisk. We have Speedroid. Let's see if we can get it anyway. That'd be cool. Stardust Assault. Speedroid and Totem. So yeah, you'd much rather have the Magical Hero probably. You can't get a Ghost there, so it depends on if you want to pull the Ghost or not. Oh, 
Look at this. You guys, speaking of ghosts, you know what we've been searching for for quite a while in the last couple months. Ghost from the past. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Let, if this had the, if this actually had it, it'd be crazy. Splash Magician, Metaphol Silvered. We have Sunseed Shadow, Dragonity Draft, and Starry Night. Okay, they continue to not give us what we're looking for. Two packs left. We have Crystal Revenge. That's pretty fun. Exodia Starlight Potential. The limbs have not had a reprint, so those are actually probably going to be decent, you know, with the Exodia head having the 25th anniversary, but nothing for the uh, the limbs. This says 25th anniversary. No, it doesn't. Okay. Hero Call. This is right before 25th anniversary. Hot Springs. Fright for Patchwork. Emblem. And. Okay. Advanced Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. The Advanced Crystal Beast in here. I remember them now. We opened how many cases of that set? Like 10? It was like an eight-hour stream, which at the time was really long. But in the last month, we've done two longer than that. One almost nine hours, one almost 10 hours. Yeah, it's getting crazy. One more pack in here. We haven't had a good pull yet. It's been rough. Darkwing Blast First Edition. Keep in mind, this is probably good. This is probably good you're watching this. So you know that this is something that can happen when opening mystery packs. They're all, you know, random packs from booster boxes that Sassiata opened up. So it's not like, you know, they've pulled the good cards already or anything, but they're still random. So when random is random, you know, you get six or seven foils a box, 17 of them get nothing. So you could get a bunch of those put together. So before you buy, keep that in mind that that could happen. We have Tyrannal Mode Stream, Soul Scissors, Internal Queen Salmon, Turbo Tainted, we have Naturia Camellia, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, uh, Mazanus Augusta, Laughing Puffin. What is this? Oh, Darkwing Blast sells a lot of good cards. I still have a lot of Darkwing Blast packs I haven't opened. And Branded Beast. Okay, Branded Beast. Okay, maybe this silver pack can make up for it. This is like, what, 20, 2010 era to 2015. Let's see what we get. We can get something cool, something older. Well, it's going to be older, guaranteed. 2010 to 2015. Let's see what it will be. I'm guessing like dimension of chaos we could get a photon shockwave something like that oh photon shockwave oh you get two. Oh, okay he was saying that sometimes you get a rarity collection bonus and i, I don't think it has to be silver so i guess this, this one just had a rarity collection bonus pack that's pretty cool all right so not only do we get photon shockwave first edition with potential for the galaxy eyes photon dragon ghost rare we also got a rarity collection pack so that's pretty cool okay Cool, cool, cool. So that's a new addition versus the first wave. All right, that'll be interesting when people have these. If you give them sealed, it's like if it's first wave, second wave, you won't be able to tell from the packaging. Here we go, Baron. So we got the Baron after all. That's cool. Okay, we have a Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Can we get a ulti or a collector rare called by the grave? Come on. Okay, good cards, but even out of here, we can't pull a high rarity. Still really solid cards there. Lightning Storm evenly matched. I mean, really good stuff. Hold on, Shockwave. I mean, it'll still be a good giveaway for you guys because there's good cards though they're not super expensive. First edition Photon Shockwave. I'm hoping we can pull something big for you guys. If we get a Ghost Rare first ed, I'm gonna freak out. One, two, I'm gonna do three to be safe. It's probably four, but I'm gonna do three. A Traffic Control, Poisonous Winds, Road Nut, oh, a classic. We got the Road Nut, Ego Boost, Zen Malfunction, Male Function, Walk Cobra, Heartfelt Appeal, Baby Tiragon. Oh, that is the rare. So it was four from the back. Okay. Oh, man. I was like, is that a rare? I couldn't tell at first. Okay. The red pack's going to be good, guys. Final mystery pack. This one is guaranteed to be red. It's normally one in 10, but we're doing this just so you guys can see what a red pack will consist of. So if you if you see that pop out, you get excited because that's a 2002 to 2009 era. So you're talking like 5D stuff. We're talking Pharaoh Servant potential, I think is what we had in there. Cybernetic Revolution, stuff like that. And if, um, if you see gold, freak out, you might get that Cyber Dragon. There's other cards as well, so it's not guaranteed Cyber Dragon. All right, we're starting off with the 2021 10 of Ancient Battles. 2021 10, not the best pack ever. You know, and there's not a lot of great stuff in here, but that's just what happens with the Mega 10 packs. Like, they have a lot of cards and they're super good, and then everything gets reprinted. So it's kind of tough on those. Jabbing Panda, still a few good cards you could pull out of here. I think, uh, is Savage in here? Prismatic Secret. And then I think, uh, oh, there's a couple. What's the other one? Tribal Gate Revolt, that's a secret. So you only get one in here, though. You only get the one Prismatic Secret. Grave Deer's Trapple is a good card. So not like not like bad cards, just not super value right there. Rose Girl, Guy of the Magical Knight. Okay, next we get a Dark Crisis. So it's looking like you're going to get 25th Anniversary. Let's see what you're going to get. You get a Zolga. Oh, I didn't do a pack trick. Let's do three. Just so we can get that Exodia Necros at the end. We've had good luck with it recently. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Incandescent Ordeal. Alts for Tribute. We're out of the mind's eye. We have Grarl, Twin Swords of Flashing Light, Fear from the Dark, and it's the final countdown of the Mystery Pack, and we are not pulling much. 
Next is Soul, Burn, Soul Burning Volcano. Not the best. I mean, yeah. So in this, uh, the Legendary Duelist slot is definitely the crappiest slot of these mystery packs, which they're my mystery packs, but I'm just going to say it. Like, Soul Burning Volcano, not a good set, you know? Uh, Volcanic, we have Battle and Boxer. Oh, Ruxus Patch. Hey, that's actually pretty good. The thing about Soul Burning Volcano is it's kind of a boring set, but not a lot of people open it, so some of the Ultras are actually like a few bucks. So I think this is actually a pretty good pull. That might actually be our best pull yet, so... What can I say? I mean, it's not a good set, but we pulled a good card. So who cares? We'll take it. Goes from the past two. So it looks like the kind of the orders, you get a mega pack, you get a legendary duel, you get a 25th anniversary, like legacy pack. You get a legendary duelist, you get a ghost from the past one or two pack, and then a couple of randoms. I mean, there there's different options, but that seems like kind of the order, which is kind of kind of nice, kind of nice and consistent. You're going to get kind of know what you're getting with Flank Cragger. We have a rookie warrior, reps your egg. We have Hella and... Oh, I think I need to do a pack trick on that. It would have been the Reptia Egg, I think. Okay, yeah, because it goes from the past two. All right, our best pull is out of Soul Burning Volcano. Oh, out of my mystery packs too. This is, this. how did this happen? Cyberstorm Access. I think that the Angel is pretty big in here, right? The Chaos Angel? That's still a good card. Yeah, how, this one's recent enough that there's still some big cards in it. We have the Dream Defender. We have Dual Avatar, New Frontier. Dream Defender again, double hooking. Virtual World Tiger. Etude of the Branded, Cynet Circuit, and Manadium Obsidian. We are just, the good side is, if I'm not pulling anything now, that means the other mystery packs hopefully are better, you know, because we got all the dead packs. One more pack, Amazing Defenders, which was terrible at the beginning, got a lot better. I think it's kind of like in the middle of that now, because uh, a lot of the, a lot of the archetypes got banned and stuff, so I don't, I think you do two from the back on this, Rhoda. Okay, I got scared because I saw the rare. We have Limiter Removal, Rescue I thought it was a collector rare. Rescue Ace, Fire Attacker, and Overlay Regen. Okay, wow. Yeah, rough pulls, rough pulls on those three. Keep in mind, that's what can happen when buying mystery packs. I don't want you guys to buy them expecting to like do insane. I want you to buy them if you're a fan of mystery packs, you like having fun with them, and you're just, you know that it's potentially gonna lose all your money like we're doing right now. Uh, not that I paid anything for these, because I mean, I technically did, because they're in our, you know, our run, so whatever, but you know what I mean, so yeah. That's a disclaimer, mystery packs. Keep it in mind before you buy. But if you do want some, they will be linked down below with Sassy Auto. It's an affiliate link with me. Here we go. Red pack. I, I'm I'm a guest Pharaoh's servant, cybernetic revolution. We've done before. Uh, Lost Millennium, stuff like that. Let's see what it is. Ooh, Legacy of Darkness first edition. I've never gotten one of these. Ooh, I wonder if it's Lily or I don't actually know the IPC for this one. Lily or Yada. Either way, it's a great option. Okay, let's see what we can get. Maybe this is the one we'll pull something. Here we go. LOD first edition. Let's go, guys. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Even if you don't buy a mystery pack, you can enter the giveaway. One, two, three, four. We have the Dragon Dwelling in the Cave first edition. Spirit Invitation. Twin Headed Wolf. We've got the Gradius' option. Spirit Ryu. Spiritual Energy, Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. Is this it? Troop Dragon. No, it's not. One more card. Thunder Nyan Nyan makes another appearance. Here's the good side. All those other LOD packs that'll be in there, they're gonna be even better because we just got a rare. So we didn't pull incredible in this video, but I'm hoping that that means the other mystery packs will be even better. And don't forget, if you are interested, they are linked in the description below. I appreciate you guys supporting through the mystery packs, by purchasing stuff from me, through Patreon, any other way that you guys support. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ Liu, Gwen 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.